whenever you're ready, if you guys want to sit down. Whatever works best for you guys as far as. What you do is you just click the start button here and click the make button button desktop. And this is proprietary software that goes with these two printers. Uh, and so, uh, have you heard of the Thingiverse before? Thingiverse? Thingiverse. What's that? It's like, it's basically just a database where people can upload different like 3D models. Because any of this stuff, in order to print it, yeah, it has to be modeled in a 3D program. And there's a ton of different programs. Um, so we're going to look up. All right, but before we do that, we uh, do this stuff. So let me show you. So basically, this is how the whole thing works. It's this extruder here. And have you ever used like a hot glue gun before? Yeah. It's basically how. All it is, it has like a heating element right here. And what it'll do is it'll liquefy the plastic as it feeds into it. And this plastic is called PLA, which is polylactic acid. It's made from cornstarch. So if you were like bury it in the dirt after two years, most of it would be gone. It would just like disappear. Um, and basically, what it does is it sits on an X, Y axis, and it'll move like this, and it'll build up layer by layer whatever the object is from. The top or from the bottom to the top. And this is called additive manufacturing. And most things before this were like um, with design and things like that. They take like a big block of metal or whatever and they carve it out into the whatever shape you want. So this is the exact opposite. This adds material to make the thing that you want to make. And all the plastic comes in spools like this in different colors. You have to always order them? Like you order them? Yeah, we have a bunch in the back, so people always ask, like, can I have like a certain color? But we'll usually let this one run out, and then if you're here when we're adding a new one, we'll show you what colors we have, and you can pick whatever color you want. How many different colors are there? There's a ton. Um, basically, any, pretty much anything, and then there's like special things too. There's like um, translucent colors, and there's uh, clear. Uh, there's ones that have like pearl in them and like metallic. So, you guys want to print, uh, you want to print microphone? Fine. So, wait, and I'll show you this. So, when you come here, this is the home screen. Can you choose what kind of size you want? Yeah, oh yeah, you can do anything like that. Really, really easily, too. So, this is just the home screen. I'll show you a bunch of stuff and like different collections. Um, that people have uploaded. We'll have like featured things. Right now they're doing like costumes, like people that I cosplay and like make different characters and stuff. But so to search for something, you just go right here. A minion? Oh, there's like the little yellow guys. There's tons of them. So. Usually it'll be like a ton of different things when you search a specific like keyword that might not necessarily types of it. So you see how that's an actual microphone, but it's actually gonna make. Well, it's it looks like an actual microphone, but it won't it won't work with one. It's just gonna be plastic. Yeah, I know, bro. Is that you see that picture? Yeah. Is that is that this or is that an actual microphone that makes? Oh that? no no that, yeah it, it's plastic. Oh, it's plastic. Yeah. So I think they made like a dummy microphone. To. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So. 
after you get this. Um, all you do is just click prepare. It also show you different um, options. So this is like the entire microphone all of at once, and I think this is it in like two pieces. So you see the two piece one. So a bigger. So you could set up how it'll be. Yeah. Um, sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Like if you have something that's really big to print it out all in one shot, it'll probably not work. Or or if you don't have a printer, like that printer is super expensive. So. Uh, yeah, so this is this object's really big, so you have to like scale the fit. I'll shrink it down just a little bit. And oh, that's the microphone. And so this one would have to be like glued together. Oh. Yeah, a little microphone. So it separates it by itself, like just with it. No, um, the per the yeah, the person who made this one purposely like cut it in half so it would have two separate pieces because in order to make it like have the same dimensions in a normal microphone, it would it, be just way too long. If you laid it sideways, it probably wouldn't look right. And, um, all right so after you get that, you have a couple options here. You can like click it and you can move it around. This file is really big. Or you can turn it, which usually you only need to do this stuff if, if it's like you need to fit it diagonally or something or if it's um, you're trying to fit a bunch of stuff on the plate. And then you have the scaling options that you were talking about where you can like make it really big. Is that bigger than the printer? Oh yeah. Anything outside of this like that this black line would wouldn't work basically, or just like stop for And then so yeah, I'll make it way smaller so you can see. But, um, and there are a lot of tools, so like when you guys start using this and say you want to print something and you want to figure out how long it's gonna to take to print that without actually printing it or starting it, you click this preview button. What this will do is this is just showing you the 3D model, it's not actually showing you what it'll look like when it's printed because it'll change a little bit. Like it'll add um, like a shiny or something. Yeah, and it'll add like a raft, which is like basically like a plate that goes to the bottom that you peel off. And also like it depends on the settings. Like you have three different qualities. So this is like like standard resolution. This one's like abnormally rough. And then you have normal and then high. So it's like how fine the layers are. Like this one looks pretty good. Um, you have to put it together? No, that one printed all as one piece. And then you, yeah, and then you break it apart and it, it works. So that's the cool thing with like the 3D printing is you can have mechanical parts that all work in just one shot. Yeah. Like this thing, this printed just like one piece. It printed like this and then it filled in on the inside, like you can see the layers all match. And then you just break it off and it, all, it works and it's all connected together. But stuff like this takes a really, really, really long time. Like this was like 45 hours to print. Oh. You can see it's like pretty heavy for what it is. It's a lot of Yeah, it's cool. Is this certain kind of plastic? No, I think it's just like the way it was made. Yeah, it was made that kind of like makes it like have like a sheen. Yeah, it's a